everyone, I'm Callie B from FreshOffTheNeedles.com. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make the fastest shawl ever. With Bernat Blanket Yarn and a 12mm hook, you'll soon have a shawl that works up in a little under 2 hours depending on your speed. In the tutorial, I used some scrap Bernat Blanket Yarn that I had on hand, but for an even quicker and simpler shawl, I would recommend one Bernat Big Ball in any variegated color of your choice. Let's get started. To begin, chain 5. Next, you'll want to double crochet into the last chain and make 3 stitches in that last chain. So, 1, 2, Three. Next, you need to chain three. Ignore what I did in the video. I had to go back afterwards and, and fix this. But you need to do a chain three or else your shawl is going to come out a little bit um, off-centered. Next, you're going to make three more double crochets into that same stitch. And basically what you're doing is you're just making a triangle and you're just going to keep building onto it. You're going to repeat the two same stitch patterns each time. It's very simple and it builds on itself. Chain three and turn. Double crochet into the same stitch, your turning uh, chain, and then you're going to double crochet across until you reach your chain three space. Make sure to get in every stitch. Once you reach your chain three space, and ignore what I did there, um, I found that it was a lot better to just directly go into the chain three space uh, instead of going into the little stitch beside it. So go, go directly into the chain three space, make two double crochets, chain two, and then two more double crochets. And if you remember the sequence now, you'll see that, uh, again, this is the same thing you're going to be doing the entire time for your solid row. Next, double crochet across, and when you reach your last stitch, you'll want to do two double crochets, chain four, and turn. As you can see, we're just building a nice little triangle here. And if anyone has any questions, leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you. I'm happy to help. This is very simple. Once you get the hang of it, you'll have it memorized in no time. So go ahead and chain four and turn. You're going to make a double crochet in your turning stitch and then you're going to chain one. Skip the next stitch, go into the following stitch and make a double crochet and then chain one. You'll do this all the way across until you reach your chain 2 space. Again, skip that little stitch that I just went into there and just go directly into the chain 2 space. I just find that it works better. So, double crochet 1 in the chain space, chain two, then one more double crochet in that same chain space. Next, chain one, skip. 
skip the following stitch, go into that one directly after, make a double crochet, and then chain one again. You're going to do this all the way down until the very end, and then at the end, you're going to do two double crochets. And these are the two sequences you're going to follow throughout the entire pattern. The only thing that may differ is if you decide to do some color changes, which is what I do in the tutorial as I was using scrap yarn. Um, but that's it. You're going to be building on this whole thing. You can make it as big as you need to. And uh, it becomes more defined as we go along. Uh, a bit more of a defined triangle shape, you know, um, because you're going to be placing stitches here in these chain spaces in the next row, and it sort of stretches it out a bit and makes it more triangular. Next, chain three, turn. You're going to do another double crochet in your turning stitch, and you're going to make a double crochet in each stitch and chain space across. Again, it's going to give it a little bit more definition, um, and it'll give it a nice lacy effect, despite the fact that the yarn is giant and bulky, and a lot of people don't seem to like uh, using it for anything other than solid stitch patterns, but this actually makes a very floppy shawl with a lot of drape. It's a bit lacy looking. So keep going into each stitch and each chain space as shown. When you reach your chain two space, you're gonna do exactly what you did in the very first row. You're gonna do two double crochet stitches, chain two, and then do two more double crochet stitches. You'll repeat that every time we have another solid row. Go ahead and make the rest of your double crochets through the rest of the uh, row. And when you reach the end of the row, you're going to do two double crochets in that final stitch, just as before. You'll do that in every uh, completed row. So, Now, as you can see, uh, that last row has definitely given it a little bit more shape and a bit more definition, and um, it's really kind of stretched out those little holes. Now is a great time to switch up colors if you decide you want to do one like that. So here's my purple yarn, and we're going to chain four. I'm not going to be adding any more captions at this point because you're literally just repeating the same things that you've already done. So check the description uh, in case you need to see uh, more of it written, but you're just doing the exact same thing and you can rewind and go back and follow the uh, captions if you need them. So you're just going to be making a double crochet, chain one, skip a stitch, and you're going to continue on in that manner the entire for the entire row. When you get to your chain two space, again, you're just going to be doing one double crochet a chain two, and an additional double crochet. 
And um, as far as the colors and stripes go for this particular uh, yarn and this particular pattern, I found that doing two rows of each color made a really nice thick stripe, and I really loved the effect. So um, besides the center right in here in the beginning, I just did a, a skip row with my color and then a solid row on top, and then I changed colors again. Remember when you reach your chain two space, one double crochet, chain two, another double crochet, chain one, and continue on as you did um, on the first side of the triangle. When you reach the end of the row, don't forget to do two double crochets in that last stitch, and then you're going to do a chain three. Turn, and we're going to go in with a solid row. Be sure to double crochet into each stitch and every chain space to create your solid row. And you can see here that the double stripe method just it creates a really bold stripe doing two rows of each color. So again, if you're doing stripes, I highly recommend doing it this way. Uh, it, you don't have to, but I just think uh, it looks a lot nicer on a shawl. We've skipped ahead, and as you can see, I've done two rows of each color to make some nice thick stripes. You can continue the exact two rows, as I explained, um, over and over until you have the shawl size that you need. If you use a uh, one skein of Bernat Big Ball, um, you can have a really large shawl without any color changes and with only two ends to even at the very end. It makes a really good sized one, and I'll include some pictures at the end for you to see. This is another striped one I did with scrap yarn. But these next ones, I used one single skein of Burnett Big Ball. These shawls have a lot of drape to them. They're very warm, very cuddly. Um, again, only two ends to weave in if you use one single roll. So I highly recommend it if speed is your goal here. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. I hope that it helps you. And if you have any questions, again, please comment below. Take a moment and like and subscribe to our channel. If you'd like to receive updates for new videos, click the bell, and be sure to visit freshofftheneedles.com for more free knitting and crochet patterns. This is Callie B. Thank you.